What's up guys? We're back. We're out here at uh, Mikey's garage, the house garage, not the shop. And uh, we're talking about the Gambler 500. Obviously 2017 Detroit Gambler 500. Huge yeah. success. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Riverview lived. Awesome. And uh, you know, we, we always thought about running it again for 2018. I've got some renderings here. So that's what we ended up with the day of the, uh, the day we left for the Detroit Gambler 500. And uh, I could say we could get a little bit weirder and that would be a caper shell in the back. All right, now, hear me out. Of all the things we need to fix, let's see, there is the, the bushing that's flopping around. Yeah, we got some front end noisy. Um, be nice to have heat. Like that, it's usually just a big wad. Yeah. Oh yeah. And rear brakes. Those were getting pretty bad near the end. They weren't real, actually. They were kind of gone. Pretty much non-existent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But one thing that I think could be improved upon is dry storage in the rear and a little bit of extra space is perhaps stretch out. And some livability. Yes. We need to uh, sleep well. We need to make a little bit more functional, right? <laughs> so I think I think that a camper shell would be weirder and more functional. So now this view is kind of hard to see, but you can see I've got some swing swing out doors in the back, kind of like a uh, the Chevy Astro van would have. Yeah. And of course with the fold down tailgate. Oh, I love it. And I got some shed windows on there. I actually make those in that tiny size. I researched. And uh, of course, this would just be like the siding metal that goes on like a you know, building, whatever. And uh, swipe over one more, you get a front view there. Let's see what we got. <laughs> now, we spent a lot of time on that roof rack. So I say we incorporate so that perfect. into the roof rack just so the thing doesn't blow off when we're going up 75 to head towards wherever it leads us. And we don't want to look like hillbillies either. We got to make this thing <laughs> legit. Right. Obviously. And this is about as legit as it's going to be. <laughs> but uh, I figured that could work. I mean, we're going to have some good storage in the back. Almost have some headroom maybe to maybe stand up straight the thing. And we can keep our spare tire and who knows whatever else above the roof rack. Spare hundies. You never exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> we need them. <laughs> Just in case. But we know that roof rack is not coming off. And we want to get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you let you know. You're gonna get crazy. Let's talk about this. I figure it's gonna be made out of OSB and you know the middle on the outside to protect it from the elements. But what if we made this an all-purpose party slash tailgate, just cool ass vehicle? I mean, a portable a portable bar is 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 pretty high class. I feel like this will gain a lot of respect from our uh, fellow gamblers. I think this would be something that they could totally appreciate. Now, there's a plan B about the bus. Uh, the bus? There's, never, there's no documentation of the bus at all. I mean, no, I don't think there is. No one's ever seen the bus. Video. I don't think we have any kind of anything to show anybody what the bus is. Well, so. explain the, I don't even know much about the bus. Explain the bus. I know uh, it's was, was $400 and it has a wheelchair lift. Yes, the <laughs> bus is very, very capable, luckily. Um, we lucked out with the bus and it has a lot of potential and therefore some, you know, elbow grease and a little bit of time, this, that, whatever, we'll be able to do something really cool with the bus. And there are some good options out there. Um, a lot of options. <laughs> swipe one over there. Now, <laughs> yes. I figure, like, just being... Simple, simple minded people. The first thing that comes to mind when you think bus is paint it yellow. Call it, call it bang bus. Or, you know, call it short bus, whatever have you. But I want to, I want to take it a step more weird. Swipe one more. Go a little old school with it and uh, go brown, right? And instead of short bus, call it the short bus. <laughs> Right? <laughs> the, I, now, the, the bus came to me because, and, and the gambler, everybody had fun at the game. Everybody had a blast. No one had a bad time, even when their cars died. But to me, the guys that looked like they had the most fun were the guys that brought the big vans and the old RVs and just packed them full of their buddies and had exactly. a big, weird, risky road trip. Yeah, but and they had a great place to sleep. That too. Plenty of room. Truth be told, they, they got the best night's sleep. They did. 
And uh, I mean, we packed up some buds and rolled up there in the shark bus. It'd be a good time. But to make this work, we're all going <laughs> to have to have matching shark outfits. <laughs> When we, when, we, when we walk off this bus, we need to all have shark pants. We need to be a shark team. <laughs> we do. So that's my that's my plan B for the gambler. Nice. And you mentioned the Yoda in the house. That's always a good option, too. Join the recovery crew up there. Yeah. I didn't, know if, uh, I didn't know if it was going to be a part of this year's gambler or not, but either which way. It, it kind of was our plan B last year if we didn't finish the Wimmobile. But uh, that's always a constant plan B. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, so that could go to plan C this year. <laughs> the thing with the bus is, um, I don't think it's going to fit on your, your trailer, is it? No. no. So it, we, it'd be a full driver. We do the drive there. there. That's, that's we'll risky in itself. Back. Yeah, yeah. That, that is rough. And it's instead of a 2.2 liter, it's got a 454. So the mileage is going to suck. Yeah. But with more guys chipping for more gas, this could probably even out in the end. I've, I haven't been to the bus in a couple of years. Last time I checked, the inside was pretty filthy. Yeah. So, other than a good cleaning, or a decent cleaning inside, what else does it need? Um, I mean, we, we've tires got... Tires decent? We, tires aren't bad at all. Um, we would need to work on some... There's there's something mechanically as far as... It has a miss in it, and I cannot okay. figure out what it is yet. I've messed around with it a little bit, but... I'm still going plan A with Weird Mobile, and okay. then uh, plan B, it will be the bus so yeah right. well there you go <laughs> to the weird reveal or the bus competing the bus. in the 2018 Andy Detroit Gambler. Gambler 500 last weekend of uh, April again something else I was thinking about today this is the uh, the one year anniversary of you getting blasted in the face with uh, R134A are they right now yeah. Today? A year like this day? I think it was a year ago today we pulled the motor out of that 740i and got <laughs> oh, shot in the face wow. with that refrigerator with the dye in it. <laughs> the worst part is that I showed that video to people at work and they had no clue what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> they were like, well, what is that? Dude, what happened? I'm like, huh? I'm like, Dude, it was the nastiest thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> in the mouth. <laughs> in my eyes and my face and nose, everything. It was bad. They didn't get why I was pouring beer in my face. They just thought I was like, they thought I was just really drunk. And I was like, no, dude, <laughs> anything. I wasn't drunk enough. All right, well, that's a wrap. Oh, oh shit, you, you're smoking me. <laughs> Better chuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear your ideas for our gambler vehicle in the comments below. Also, we'd like to see your gambler as well. So please share a link below if you've got your own gambler in the works. Always be gambling.